Suppose you ride a Ferris wheel. The lowest point of the wheel is 3 meters off the ground, and its diameter is 20 meters. After it started, the Ferris wheel revolves at a constant speed, and it takes 32 seconds to bring you back again to the riding point. After riding for 150 seconds, find your approximate height above the ground. To solve this problem, we need to sketch a diagram. Let's say this is the height axis and this is the time axis. It says that the lowest point of the wheel is 3 meters off the ground. So let's say that the ground is here. Okay, That's 0. So we could say 3 meters is here. So that's 3. Now, the diameter of the wheel is 20 meters. So let's, let's draw the wheel. Okay, so that could be the wheel. Maybe that's not the scale. But, okay. So say this is the center of the wheel. Now, because the diameter is 20, that means that the radius is 10. Okay, so that's 10. And so therefore, this point right here is 13. Because the lowest point is 3. Add 10, that's 13. Okay, now... If we try to track our height with respect to time, then the graph will look like this. So that's how the graph will look like. It's a cosine graph. How do we know it's cosine? Because we started at the bottom. Then we can draw our midpoint or midline and we can now try to find the values of the parameters. The equation that we will use is this. y equals a. We know it's cosine. So cosine b times x minus c plus d. This is the sort of uh, the standard equation for cosine, the general equation for a cosine graph. First, let's determine what A is, okay? A is the amplitude, so that's A. But then we started at the bottom, so A should be negative, okay? Remember, the cosine graph normally starts here, so it should be like that. But no, we started at the bottom, so therefore, the value of A is negative. Okay, specifically, it's negative 10. Okay, so absolute value of A is 10, but we know that A is negative 10 because we started here. Okay, so therefore we can replace this with negative 10. Okay, cosine B. What's B? How do we solve for B? Well, what equation includes B? Where, what equation has a B in it? Well, the equation for period has B. Okay, Period is 2 pi divided by absolute value of B. And so therefore we can solve for B. So that's absolute value of B equals 2 pi divided by the period and we know what the period is the period is 32 seconds because that's the amount of time that brings you back again to the writing point so that's the period 32 so that gives us 2 pi divided by 32 which gives us pi over 16 so we can now replace that with pi over 16. Now what's our C? C is the phase shift. We didn't have a phase shift. Okay, so therefore C is 0. D is the vertical shift. Remember, we start here, but 
we are here instead so therefore there was a vertical shift of 13 units up so that's positive 13 so we can replace that with positive 13 and now our equation is almost done we can write that as negative 10 cosine pi over 16 x plus 13 and that's it now our variable x is time so we can replace that with t and our y is h so let's replace that with h and that's the equation that we will use to answer the question after riding 150 seconds find your approximate height above the ground all we need to do is plug in 150 seconds for t let's do that so that's equals negative 10 cosine pi over 16 times 150 plus 13 and that will give us 16.83 approximately 16.83 meters